Hello and welcome to another episode in our Ve Victis Macedon campaign. Uh, this time I am not streaming, uh, mostly because it is far too warm in my apartment and taking a break every 20 minutes to blast the fan on my face sounds like something I kind of would like to do. So, um, yeah, with that out of the way, uh, let's just get right back into it. So, we've got two armies here. Let's have one go to this fort. Uh, this one, I think, is going to try and chase down this 9k. If we can catch it while it's got low morale, uh, we can murder it fairly effectively, I think. Um, you want some trade? That's fine. We need a new Hierophant. Uh, Hierophants, what do they do again? That's omen power, isn't it? So we do want someone good. Yeah. Uh, new invention. Uh, what do we want? Capital import route might be nice, although... I haven't managed to do a whole lot of trading, to be honest. Uh, monthly wages for characters would be quite nice as well. We do spend quite a bit on wages. Um, slave output's good. Monthly tyranny might be useful. Popularity gain is nice. I think I'll go with monthly wages for characters. Oh, it seems we've saved up quite a bit of civic power. I don't remember why that is. So let's also get that. And let's also grab something else. Like ruler popularity gain. And pop growth. Yes, lovely, perfect. Moving back to the war then. Uh, let's pop it down to speed 4. And I guess we'll just let it run for a bit. I assume you're going to siege. Yes, that's nice. Hang on, you're on the wrong thing. You should be on phalanx. You bottleneck, yeah, that's fine. Actually, no, bottleneck's probably better for you as well. Oh no, uh, you're light cav, deception. And you are also on deception, good. We've also got another 8k here. Let's uh, grab a commander. I guess you're gonna be fine. At some point, I do want to switch out my armies so that I don't have archers in them anymore. I'm, I'm really not a fan of archers. Um, so I would like to get rid of them entirely. No idea where this guy's going now. Uh, Crisis in the Seleucids. I mean, let's be fair, we've all seen what's happened to them recently. Uh, what's... It, it's certainly a crisis, let's put it that way. Um, because of our new idea, we have a trade route available. But no one wants to trade anything with us, and we can't do any internal trading, so that sucks. Peace from Lydia. Uh, no. Probably we should have started the war against these guys. Fucking pirates. Go away. Where's my fleet? There you are. Can you just go and try and murder some pirates for me, please? There. Go catch. You can try and siege that. Hey, we killed them. Get fucked. Right. And now we'll just continue uh, carpet sieging Mycia Abratene until they wish to all accept, you know, my authority. Because that's basically what needs to happen, isn't it? Alright. Uh, actually, you know what probably be a good idea is if we got this army to go and deal with this. At the moment, he can't escape. We can get a new military tradition. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, we have enough for another one of these. Uh, monthly tyranny, sure. So yeah, he can't escape, but if we crush him, in EU4 it would mean that he would just get stack wiped if I won the battle. However, unfortunately that's not the case here. What would happen is, he would immediately um, have the white flag, so he's running away, and he would ignore Fort Zone of Control. So instead of being stack wiped as he can't retreat back into his own lands, um, he would then, you know, maybe run over to Hela or something like that, and you'd have to keep chasing him. 
Best way I've ever found to deal with that is right before the battle is set to finish, dock your fleet up, and then as he's running away, that's when you bring it back out. So a second battle happens. So as soon as he is in combat, we'll dock the fleet, and as soon as we've won, we'll undock. So now he's running away, bring the fleet out, we have a second battle, and we crush face. Good stuff. Alright, you continue sieging as well. Got two sieges there, and then we're pretty much done with the war. Stop asking for peace, you can't have it. Do have to be wary, wary about that, so I'll bring my army a bit closer. Ah, slaves! Oh, sorry, rebels. Rebel bad. Uh, hopefully I get there in time. I'd really rather not have to redo this entire siege. Come on, let me win the battle. Yes. Uh, it's turning in our favor. Good. Screw you guys. Lovely. Now the like have... I'm going to bring them over here to re-siege all of this stuff. I've only got two sieges left. They're both fairly close. There's one of them. And you, I guess, can go over here. And there's the second one. Beautiful. You're going to get caught and more fucking pirates. If we can catch them, then that would be real handy. Alright, I think we could probably peace out. Or you need to be fully occupied before you will accept any sort of separate peace. Unfortunately. Which means I'm going to have to chase you down. Tell you what, create a new unit. Let's get all of these merge so I don't have to uh, pay for as many to be uh, disbanded. That seems like a good idea to me. You dock up. More fucking pirates. At least the modifier on pirates isn't the most painful thing in the world. Right, we're gonna catch some pirates here and murder them all. Beautiful. Screw you pirate scum. Good stuff. And there's 30 more pirates dead. Two more cities here. Might as well start uh, taking back my cities as well. Unfortunately, this pirate is still bugged. I don't think there's any way that I can get rid of that. I'm sure there's a console command, but... The console isn't working in this version, or you it is working, but you have to uh, set it as a, a launch command or something. I really can't be fucked doing anything like that. Um, hmm, lose 10 stability, but you gain loyalty, or you lose 20 loyalty and you gain 10 and I imprison my general. I'd rather not imprison my general, to be perfectly fair, so I will pass on that one. You don't want peace. You will do as soon as we finish that siege. Check it back up to speed five. We'll let the soldiers have their due, because who cares? Now you... Sh I guess you don't want peace because you will occupy this. Asshole. Just accept peaceful terms. We, we can have peace, buddy. We can have peace. Give peace a chance. I'm going to have quite a lot of aggressive expansion after this war, so I think what I'll do is I'll make some claims. Um, maybe on Phrygia. We have claims on Messia and Bithynia Superior, so not on you, not necessary. Uh, what about claims on... You, I think we've got a claim on you already. Yeah, Central Delta. Eastern Delta, we don't have a claim on, so we'll get a claim on Eastern Delta. Uh, 
Kion. We should probably get a claim on you as well. Uh, Memphis. Outside of our diplomatic range because there's one single fucking city. Yeah, that makes total 100% sense. Serenaica. <laughs> Apparently they're close enough because of this one. But you, because of this tiny little... No, no, it's stupid. Um, South Phoenicia, do we have a claim on you? Nope, let's get one. On the province of South Phoenicia, of course. And anyone else? I mean, maybe Heliopolis. I can only make one more claim. Um, so, who would be the best one for that? Probably you, but we can't reach you right now. Maybe Adrissia? They are a tribal vassal to Thrace. If I was to attack Thrace, they would also bring in Getia. Mm, I'm not too pushed about that one, to be honest. Um, Carthage, can we get over... Yeah, we could get over to Seculia Sicania. Also, Zeogutania. I don't know where that is. Is that, that... No. Is that here? There it is. This one. Probably because of this island that we have the range. Maybe Pontus. Do we have a claim on you? We do. Paphlagonia. Do we have a claim on Paphlagonia already? We don't. How are we able to get a claim? We don't have any border. Ah, it's over here, right, of course. Uh, maybe not then. Maybe you. We don't have a claim on this one. And he's guaranteed by Pontus, Rome, and Corduin. Let's get a claim on him anyway, but we can't because we already have claims on him. Wait, what? Oh yeah, so we do. Um, honestly, I think, I think that's fine then. I think the amount of claims we've got right now is pretty good. Unless maybe Palmyra? Mm. You're guaranteed by Phrygia, or not guaranteed, but feudatory. Uh, this is to Militos. Uh, Militos is tribute from Halicarnassus. That's all that is. I could get these two if I attacked Halicarnassus. What about this one? Tribute to Egypt. Oh yeah, Egypt does still exist. Nah, I think we're good. I think we're good on that one. So, we'll sue you for peace. We'll take everything. Hand your money. And we'll take a little bit of the aggressive expansion away. And then we'll do the same over here. Take all of his money and take all of Lydia. And take away a little bit of aggressive expansion. Lovely. So, Macdon has grown quite nicely. Um... So you need to go somewhere that you can stand without pain. So do you. Oh, and you ran to the... Oh, and now you did. Never mind then. Alright, well, if that's the case, then you can stop moving. Uh, we will create a new unit and we'll take away these. Disband them. Unfortunately, there's seven that are loyal. That's not going to be an issue in the next patch. But right now, that is an issue. And let me assume that the same is true here. All but one. Good enough. So instead, what I'm going to do with these, I still want the eight, um, 8k stacks, so 32 cohorts. Uh, what I'd like to do is bump it up to 24 cohorts of heavy infantry and eight cohorts of heavy cavalry. That's my ideal stack, I think. So I need another eight and I need eight. Lovely. Also, I've now got a um, auto hotkey installed, which is letting me, uh, instead of W moving the map up and down, W is now political map mode, as it always should have been. Any other way of doing it is heresy. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lovely stuff. Right, can we get a trade now? We can, there's some things we can trade. So if I get, um, I can get olives, but we've already got a surplus of olives. We could get some stone. If I had a surplus of that, I could have build cost go down. 
Uh, wine will just help Freeman happiness by 1%. That's not really that important. But that's pretty much all of my options. Slave happiness in the capital by 2% or Freeman happiness by 1%. Yeah, it's not it's not uh, great options there, is it? It'd be nice if I could get even more papyrus, but alas, nay. Get yeah, each surplus in the province plus five percent research points. That's so good, it's so damn good. Uh, screw it. We'll just get some wine from Aeolia, and it's it's again, it's not a uh, it's not an external trade. It's all internal. No one wants to trade with me. It's so sad. Sad music as well, just to show how sad it is. Everyone wants my goods, but they don't want to trade uh, any of their goods away to me. Oh well, tis what it is. Alright, so when you die, we'll be able to get rid of your archers. When you die, we'll get rid of your archers. Perfectly acceptable. Now 1151 points to get the next... Uh, military tradition. I really love the way that they're doing traditions in the next patch. Can't wait for that. Right. So yeah, we we have a few options on where we can attack. Uh, I think I'll wait for my armies to reinforce and such first, though. I might also build some buildings. So marketplaces. Uh, sort by the amount you can build. Sort by total income growth. So Pella can get one of those. You can actually get more than one. Uh, but alas, we'll do... We'll have a look at granaries. Pop cap. I think, yeah, doing it by pop cap is probably the best option. Anything below 10 maybe can get one. Although that's all my money now. Oh well, good enough. More more trade, more trade, fine. Lots of disloyal provinces as well, but not enough to cause a rebellion, thankfully. I'd need 20... a uh, civil war. Rebellion, 18.28% of the population uh, of disloyal foreign culture groups or subjects, Magadon would have progressed to a rebellion. Currently, 14.32% of the population is in disloyal provinces and subjects. So, I'm fairly close to it, but I'm not yet at that point. What I need to do, then, is switch you over to cultural doodads. Certainly don't want you on Bleed Them Dry, that's just the worst. Yeah, but we need to culturally enrich all of these regions into glorious Macedonian. Like even here needs to be Macedonian, but it's not. Um, what can we have here? Actually, the, the provincial improvement military one, what's it do again? Provincial loyalty and pro population output. I don't even know if that's worth it. I know the trade one is probably worth it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know about the rest of them. Building slots, I certainly don't think is worth it. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Have you used these buttons? I just don't like them. I don't like the, their existence. Uh, aggressive expansion impact. I probably should have got that earlier. Ex uh, expansion change would be nice, though, so we'll take that. There's actually quite a lot of imports and exports, but a lot of this is coming from me. But yeah, I've got way more exports than I've got imports. So I guess what we could do there, then, is check you first. Proteid family moves to Macedon. Uh, who are these? Oh, right, yeah, we've just integrated Uboya, so... Yeah, I guess we'll take all of them. And then commerce, at the moment we've got export value going up. Yeah, that's, that's probably what we need to be on. That is the best option for us right now. 
Yeah, we've got uh, you almost. Actually, no, you're you're fully done now. We just need to get rid of that one archer, and then you. We've got seven archers. We need to get rid of speech of success. Yeah, successor even. As the ruler of one of the true successors to the great empire of Alexander, Philip II Antipatrid steps up on a podium in front of our countrymen and court to deliver an inspiring speech. He brings up the many empowering properties of the old conqueror, but he decides to bring up one topic in particular. So basically choose which brand of power that you want. How he managed to bring people together from all across the known world is certainly the one I'm going to go with. Actually, I do have a, an awful lot of military power, so I probably could do these buttons. Provincial loyalty. I guess that would be more useful over here. I don't know. I think we're just going to leave it and wait for the uh, the culture of this area to flip to what I want it. And I'll use those points to change these over to more Macedonians. At the moment, we've only got 79% of the population is Macedonian. So, yeah, we need you to change over here. 92%. I think that's probably fine um got social mobility here this should probably change now although there is quite a lot of citizens that maybe sorry there's quite a lot of slaves that maybe want to be citizens let's do some more cultural appropriation yes that seems like a good idea Alright, well with that I am going to put a small cut in here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye for now.